This is an entry-level PC. It has one user running multiple programs, and it's only using 5% of its capacity. The rest is wasted. But with the N Computing X series, you can share the excess power with other users and save a whole lot of money. Let's take a closer look, starting with how easy it is to install. First, install one or two X series PCI cards into the PC. Second, connect your access device to the shared PC with a standard Cat5 or Cat6 cable. Third, connect your peripherals, your monitor, your keyboard, and your mouse to the access device. Next, we'll install the vSpace software. That's it. Now, depending on which model you have, up to seven or even 11 users can be sharing one PC. So let's take a closer look. Here, we have multiple users running video applications. We have others running office productivity apps such as PowerPoint, Excel, and Word. We have another user surfing the internet and looking at a flash presentation. Finally, we have another user watching a DVD movie. With all of these multimedia applications running at the same time, and with seven users sharing a single PC, we still have power left to spare. And each user feels as if they have their own PC, but they have this at a fraction of the cost. So when you buy in computing virtual desktops, you save a lot of money. But the savings don't stop there. The X-Series solution requires only one watt per user. A PC, 110 watts per user. So you'll save on your electric bills, you'll reduce the amount of heat generated, and that actually translates into lower air conditioning costs. And computing virtual desktops also drastically reduce the amount of e-waste that you'll be generating. Every three or so years, PCs, which weigh about 20 pounds each, end up in landfills. Now, end computing has a better way. In fact, our access devices only weigh a few ounces, and they don't need to be upgraded as often as the shared PC. So between the electricity savings and the reduction in e-waste, it's easy to see that end computing is the greenest computing solution on Earth. Millions of people in over 80 countries are already benefiting. From offices and classrooms to factories and internet cafes, people are getting access to computing at a fraction of the cost.